Ethernet cable splitters can carry two separate signals over a single physical cable. This effectively splits one cable into two, which can be a useful way to double the number of devices you can connect to a single cable. However, Ethernet cable splitters do have downsides, so it's important to understand how they work and if they're the right solution for your needs. An Ethernet cable splitter has two Ethernet port connectors on one side and a single Ethernet port connector on the other. It works on the premise that a 100 megabit Ethernet connection, for example, doesn't use all the wires in a typical CAT5e cable. By splitting the wires inside these cables into separate channels, the splitter turns one gigabit cable into two 100 megabit cables. The most common Ethernet cable splitters create two data connections, but you'll also find a PoE or Power Over Ethernet splitter. This device takes an incoming PoE cable and splits the data from the power, providing an Ethernet plug and DC barrel plug. This is necessary when some devices on the network don't support PoE. Instead of using a local wall adapter, you can still power non-PoE devices over the network using one of these splitters. Take note that in this video we're talking about data splitter cables. Make sure you order the right splitter and not a PoE model if you want two data connections. There are a few upsides to Ethernet cable splitters. First, they're inexpensive, so they're a relatively cheap solution to split an existing cable. Secondly, they're easy to use. There's no setup or configuration. Just plug and play. In a pinch, you can also use a splitter as a makeshift Ethernet coupler to join cables, but you're still taking a huge hit to potential speeds and would be better off buying a purpose-made coupler instead. The biggest drawback is speed. Each data connection through a splitter is at 100 megabits per second. This means your gigabit cable can carry a maximum of 200 megabits. But this might not matter if you don't need more than 100 megabits of bandwidth per device, which is more than enough for 4K streaming. And if your internet connection is less than 100 megabits, it's also a moot point. Another downside is that you need a splitter at each end of the main cable. So a splitter doesn't save you any ports on the router. It still takes up two ports no matter what. Ethernet cable splitters aren't a great solution overall, especially in modern times when gigabit Ethernet is the norm in home lands, where broadband speeds are usually over 100 megabits. Not to mention that there are usually more than just two devices at the endpoint that need an Ethernet connection. So before you order a bunch of splitters from Amazon, consider these generally superior alternatives. Wireless access points. A wireless access point connects to the Ethernet cable and creates a new Wi-Fi network at its location. It offers internet connectivity through the Ethernet connection, but also has its own LAN. Many wireless access points also have several Ethernet ports, and you can connect multiple wired and wireless devices, making the most of a high-speed gigabit Ethernet cable. Powerline Ethernet If you want to use an Ethernet splitter because there is an established cable installed and you don't want to tear up the drywall to put in more, one great alternative is Powerline Ethernet. This technology turns your home's existing copper power cables into network cables. How well this works depends on the quality of the cabling and what devices are running on the circuit. Theoretically, you could get as much as 600 megabits per second over typical power line ethernet. In practice, we've seen anything between 30 megabits on poor wiring to 300 megabits in a modern home. Network switches. A network switch is a much simpler device than a router. A switch can only connect devices on the same network together, but it can't provide an internet connection or cross-network connection by itself. You can, however, use it to provide multiple ethernet ports at the end of an extension cable connected to your router. It's clear that buying a traditional splitter isn't really a great idea unless you're trying to save every last penny. Luckily, there are many superior options to split the ethernet adapters you could choose from to spread your home network to all the corners of your living space without destroying your connection speed. See you next time.